Hi, welcome to Web Development Training Series, which includes HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, and PHP. So, in this video, we are going through an important topic, which is HTML styling with CSS. So, this is the most important topic you have to focus on. So, in styling HTML, we have three types of styling: inline style, internal style, and external style. So one by one, we shall implement uh, each of them. So let's start. So I have an HTML document here. Uh, so firstly, you should uh, see the tags. I have HTML, head, title, and body. Inside of body, we have uh, heading one, right? So if we shall see the output of this, you will find something like this hi i am style right so now i want to implement firstly the internal style inline style inline style means the style which you are implementing inside an element right for example we have the tag html h1 so inside of that uh, specific element we are going to style this for example STYL the style attribute is here and here we are uh, implementing background so I want to change the background color of this into yellow right so now we should run this code so once we shall refresh this you will find something like this means the background is yellow now right so this was what you know this was inline style why because this is specific to an element means if we have multiple h1 then only background of background yellow would be of this particular h1 tag right for example we have one more h1 tag here and we haven't written this code so if you will run this code you will find that only background of the first h1 has been yellow not the second one why because we have uh, given the style to h1 the first h1 only so now uh, we are going to change the border of this h1 right so firstly you should see the output now output is this and now we want to change the border of uh, h1 by internal style so internal style has the scope to the page right this has the inline style has the scope to an, to an element but internal has the scope to the whole page means in throughout the page if you have multiple elements you can implement the style right so we have style tag, tag open and style tag close so inside of that we have actually h1 tag and i want to change the border of this h1 right so border of this one is uh, solid green and it is of 2 pixel right so let's see the output so sorry h1 not h right so now you will find out that uh, the border is yellow uh, green now right so what is the important thing that you are learning from here is for example we have multiple h1 right and we haven't given this particular style and we want to give the border to h1 only so h1 means throughout the page if you have multiple h1s then the border uh, property would be implemented on all of them right so let's see so you can say uh, you can see uh, that the border of this h1 is also green and this h1 is also green why because uh, we have given the common property to h1 so every h1 would be a ha having the border uh, two pixel green and solid right so now we want to implement another uh, property of font family right so that would be implemented by 
a CSS file. So I have made a CSS file, this CSS file, demo.css, right? So demo.css, which is on my screen actually. So let me show you. So this is this is demo.css I already created if you have any doubt I want to delete this CSS right I have deleted this demo.html is present here and I want to create a new yes this has been deleted now sorry So I want to create a new file here that is for example style.css right and that is on desktop. So I want to uh, create a property of <coughs> uh, for h1 h1 tag and what I want is font family font family and that should be courier courier right so let's see so right now you cannot uh, find any change why because we haven't linked linked this style.css to demo.html for example this is different file and this is separate file so if you want to use this code into this html file then what you have to do is you have to write here a link tag I already discussed in the previous lectures so if you have any doubt you can refer those lectures relation is means what is the relation of that file that is style sheet right and type is what type of content we want to we want here is text or maybe CSS and href href means where it is located we have to give the path so in these are both on the same directory that is on desktop so we want to give style.css this is the name of my file right so now we should change the we should see the uh, difference so here you are looking that uh, this is uh, simple Arial uh, font family and this is also a real once I refresh you would able to see the change yes so this change has been happened because of external style sheet this was what you know external style sheet means using link tag we have linked a style.css uh, if you are linking any file and implementing uh, in this way the CSS then you can say that this is external uh, CSS right external style so we have discussed three types of style right here first was inline style that is specific to an element and second was mm, uh, internal style uh, which was specific to a page means this is only applicable to this page only because style tag is only present here not any to any other file and third was style.css created uh, file in which we have written h1 tag uh, h1 tag has the property font family that we have changed to courier so if we have linked that file to uh, our demo.php uh, demo.html then that style would be implemented here right for example the uh, both the h1 uh, tags would have the font family courier and one more benefit of external styling is that uh, means we have style.css we can link this style.css in any other uh, HTML file for example we have demo.html if we have test.html then we can also use this uh, style.css by using this particular line right uh, there we should also uh, use link tag uh, mention the relation mention the type and then we shall give the path to a, a path of that style uh, style uh, file then definitely that would be available there right so this has been I think uh, you are aware about uh, each and every style uh, in this example and this is really important that is mostly used 
in HTML and CSS and every means web development you will find all these concepts right so if you haven't understood if you have any doubt you can write down in the comment line, comment section i will i will definitely give you the reply and even you have to uh, practice in your own computer so that you could able to uh, make yourself aware better right so hope that uh, this video was uh, fruitful for you if if it is then you should share with the others and even uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel and like this video and if you have any suggestion you can also uh, put into the comment line comment section and uh, thank you thanks for watching